Hi, again in this video I'll cover one of the most important topic in UWP Universal Windows App Development and I'll talk about creating custom style resources for our XAML. So what are these style resources? Let's say that we are developing an application that contains a lot of similar elements and those elements must have the same properties like the color, font style, border and so many other properties. Let's say we are developing an application that have different pages that have the buttons and all the buttons have same styles. Um, it isn't a good practice to uh, create individual styles for individual buttons. Later on if you want to change the style like a background then we need to go back to each and every button element to change the style. Instead uh, we create a style resource and apply that resource to all the buttons in our XAML. Alright, whenever we want to make changes, we change that style and the change automatically uh, applied to all the elements. So I have created an empty project uh, in my Visual Studio 2015 and I have opened up main page.xaml file. So in this file, I will uh, create some style resources and few buttons inside this grid element and then I will apply those style resources on those buttons. So uh, let's come back to our page element and outside this grid element I will create an element called page dot resources and I will close the element with the forward slash with it alright and in this element I will create another element called style and after that I will give it a property called target type and that has to be any element uh, in our XAML. So in this example I'll show you applying style resources on button elements so I will write button alright because I wanna let it know that I want I'm styling uh, these resources uh, on the button element and after that I need to give it a key because for the button we need to uh, know that we need to let our button know that which style resource it should have and this is the key that we need to give it to the button so I will uh, write my button style this is the name of key okay so inside the style element I need to uh, set few properties for my button that these are the properties that needed to be set for this style resource that has to be applied on all the buttons that are using this style resource alright and obviously the properties are the uh, the color the font size border so let's create few properties so we can create properties by writing setter and after that I can use property as a property keyword and the name of property is width okay and the value is 200 Alright, so I'm going to copy this line and add few more properties for this style resource. So I'll change width to height and change 200 to 50. And in the third setter, I will write background. And as the value, uh, I can give it anything, but I will give a hexadecimal value. So you can give it anything. Alright, so I'm going to copy this one again and paste it right here. And I will add a border, border brush, and as a value, I will give it a hexadecimal value. So I will write double F zero B four two six eight. Um, I'm not sure, but it's a kind of green or blue color. So I will give it border thickness and as a value I will give it uh, four values but I can give it two for the uh, top and bottom and then for the left and right okay and in the last one I can give it foreground color and for the foreground color let's add white okay and I want to give it another property that is the font size inside our button so I will write font size and the font size 
is 30. All right, so this is the star resource that I have created. Now inside my grid element, uh, I will create a button. So let's create a button and I will give it horizontal alignment to center and vertical alignment to center as well. And content is, let's say my button one. All right, so I have created a button. Now how can I uh, let this button know that this is the style resource that you need to use. All right, uh, I I need to write all those properties inside the actual element, uh, which are not uh, same as the other button. So I can uh, write those uh, properties right here. And all those properties that are similar to all the buttons, I can create a style resource uh, outside this element. All right. Uh, so there are some buttons that have different uh, horizontal vertical alignment so that's why I've written inside it now uh, let's add a style property that will refer to this key that uh, we'll be having on the left side you will see the difference that uh, will affect to this button so I will write style and inside it I will use a static resource and I will call my button style all right, on the left side, you can see that all those properties have been applied to this button because this button is uh, referring to this style resource that I have created. All right, and um, let's create another button. I'm gonna copy this one and paste it right here. Uh, I have removed all those vertical and uh, horizontal alignment properties. Now you can see this is uh, our second button on the left side and this is our first button now we can also override any particular property that is being applied with this style resource uh, let's remove this one all right and what if I want to uh, override the background property okay in any particular button I can write background and uh, I can just enter a light blue Okay, let's change it to let's say black so you can see that all other properties are being applied but that property that we have rewritten again uh, that has been overridden now that's been said now we have created our resource in this particular file so this particular style resource can only be used in this main page.xaml file because I have created this resource in this file what if I want to create a style resource uh, that can be used globally in all the XAML files in my project? I might have other pages in my application. I might have other uh, XAML files in my project. Uh, then there must be a style resource. There must be a way that uh, we can define a style resource that can be used globally. Right now, this is a local style resource. All right. And I have uh, written two buttons. Now I want to take this style resource in a place uh, where that can be used in all the files right now we have just one file so uh, if you have another file that can be used uh, for this style resource as well so I will go to the solution explorer and I will open up app.xaml this drop down arrow button and I will open up uh, this app.xaml file all right you can see that there is an element application and inside this application I can create a style resource for the whole application uh, in this uh, universal windows development so I will write application dot resource all right and this is where I can define all those style resources that can be used globally so I'm going to remove this style element and cut this style element and I will paste it inside this application dot resources all right and I'm gonna save this one okay so you can see that all the styles are still being applied on these buttons I haven't written anything inside it we can also remove this one if anything any style resource that needed to be added in this particular file but can't be used in other files 
that style must be written in this file but uh, the button styles uh, remain same in most of the cases in the large projects so uh, that's why i have moved all those style resources in my app.xaml file i can remove this page.resource from here as well and i can apply all these buttons so let's copy this one and i will paste it right here as well and let's override another property from uh, this style resource so what if i want to uh, increase the font size or decrease the font size all right so uh, first i need to uh, take it to the margin and i will write zero and zero all right let me take this one at the top and i will just bring it right here okay so I have set the margin uh, like this. I'm going to remove the height because I want the height to be overridden from that style resource. Now both the height of both the buttons are same. Uh, let's change the font and I will write font size and let's give it 20. Okay, so you can see that the font style have been overridden from the global style resource that we have written in app.xaml. So I hope that you have got the idea and the benefit of creating the style resources in the large application that really helps uh, you must be able to define style resource locally or globally rather than uh, adding the properties in the elements so make sure you subscribe my channel and like my video as well and comment below if you have any question thanks for watching